when you decide to become more connected, you become more sensitive and you should be really ready for that. Um, you should prepare for that a bit because it doesn't make things automatically easier and it can be a bit crushing when you start to realize the truth of a lot of things. It's can be hard to look anywhere if you aren't able to regulate properly. Regulation, I said that word earlier, it's so important to me and will always continue to be important to me because I'm able to go from here to here in a second based off of something that I see. Um, someone might see a um, fast food billboard with a burger on it, but I see a baby that was most likely four months old in between uh, gluten, which has also been exploited to the absolute max. And the world can become a really heavy place. And so trying to find the lightness in all of it and try to also realize that the person who created that billboard potentially and um, who's also looking at it salivating it doesn't know the full truth and if they did it wouldn't be up there so bringing compassion and kindness to every single part of this experience has been really helpful um, but being sensitive is it comes with its own challenges, but it also allows for all of the growth and all of the expansion. So it's kind of like you kind of have to have one with the other. And as long as you can regulate and figure out what your forms of regulation are, then I think it'll be um, it'll make for a much more fulfilling experience. For me, breath work is really important. Like you brought up what works for you and Breathwork has been everything for me, connecting with the breath, the spirit, um, and slowing down. I do a lot of adaptogens. They've been really helpful for me, especially because I had a lot of childhood trauma. So just um, rewiring my stress responses has been a big part of it as well. Um, but yeah, I think I... It's in terms of becoming more sensitive, I feel like that's just something that's going to happen the more you get to know yourself because we're emotional, sensitive, connected beings. So rather than going, I want to be more sensitive, the more that you get to know yourself, I'm pretty sure you'll just become <laughs> really sensitive. Yeah. It might not be in the same way like me crying all the time, <laughs> um, but it might just, yeah, it might look many different ways. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Um, and in that process, like I said we we don't take more than we need we're compassionate and aware of our impact on all life mm. on the plants the ecosystem and animals that are that are around us and we've largely become so disconnected in modern society to our our real impact and mm. we just live in a world where we want something we get it the next day off amazon and if we want food um, it's all at the grocery store, but we don't understand the monocrops and different things that are happening yeah. for it to become a reality in Egos our life. included. Yeah. Like that's part of the reason why we're working to get on land because we want to be connected to the growing process. We want to put seed in ground. We want to tend to it just like we would any other life form. And we want to watch it grow and uh, yeah, be there for it and its lows and its challenges and really understand what it takes to grow food. And... I think it's really, I got into a really idealistic place with being vegan where I thought because I was vegan, I was saving lives. And I have to say this. So because I do animal rescue, when I physically grab an animal out of a situation and then I bring it to sanctuary, that to me is directly saving a life. There's so many animal lives that are being taken every single time, no matter if we grab um, a vegan this or a vegan that. So putting that power back in our hands to say we can go a step further uh, with our food if we so choose, growing our own food, becoming even more connected. The vegan hot dog, while I'm sure is you know great for certain reasons, I don't think it's going to help our health really. I don't think it's going to add light to our being. And I also know that I probably wouldn't want to put money in the pockets of the people who are creating those companies, a lot of them anyways. So... I think if you are someone who is highly sensitive and you're vegan and you're walking this walk to um, make less impact, I think we would make the best farmers on earth. 
I think we would actually tend to animals so well, animal welfare to the max. So I think um, that's been a big part of my journey is realizing that there are areas that could be improved within the vegan space. And if they aren't there yet, go do it. Like stop worrying about the fact that no one else is doing it and casting judgment. That's a middle step to now where maybe we could potentially go. And that is just as necessary as well. So that's been a big part of my journey is kind of detaching myself from the identity of vegan to redefine what it means to me to be a steward and a lover of all things, which I don't know what it would be considered at this point, but the word doesn't really matter to me.